Yo guys, what's going on? So it's Lee. So I thought I'd do another quick office update because I've changed a couple of things and I'm also using a new microphone in this video. Uh, I'm using the Zoom H1, which I picked up. It's a refurbished model. I picked it up on eBay, pretty cheap. So I'm trying that out in this video. So let me know in the comments what the audio quality sounds like. But yeah, quick few updates to the office itself. You probably you can notice the first thing I changed is the desk. So I used to have the desk in like an L shape. But basically what I did was I cut this desk down. Um, I took like 500 mil off it and I got it squeezed in this space here. And I do prefer this a lot more. It just gives me a lot more room to work with, especially over here when I'm shooting videos with the tripod and the lighting on this desk here. So I just tidied that up a little bit and I think it's, it's working a lot better. And then the next kind of main update is the monitor, which you probably saw me unbox in a video earlier this week. So I've got that up and running now. And yeah, it's been great. I've been using it for about a week now and it's really awesome for video editing and Photoshop and stuff like that. So I'm loving this monitor. It's been great so far, no problems. And I finally got around to buying a DisplayPort cable, which has minimized the screen turn I was having, which I mentioned in the unboxing video a lot. So it is a 60 hertz monitor. I think it's not so much screen turn. It's more the fact that I came from this monitor, which is a 144 hertz monitor. And I think I was just noticing the lower frames, to be honest, it wasn't as smooth. So I think that was really the main reason it looked a little bit uh, choppy and stuff and I thought it was screen turn, but it actually wasn't. But it's running perfectly now. Didn't need any calibration whatsoever out of the box. It was perfect. So really enjoying to use this more in the future. I will try and do a review as well. Once I have tested a little bit more, probably in like a month's time, I like to actually use products before I review them and actually give my honest opinion on them. But that's really it. And also I guess is cable management. So. I really just want to tidy the office up because I don't know about you guys, but when my office is tidy and there's like cables everywhere, it really just stresses me out and I can't really like focus on doing something like making a video. But this is what my cable management looks like currently. So this right here, this rack is from Ikea. You can get them, I think they're pretty common to be honest, but this is what my cable management looks like. It's just pretty much all the cables are bundled into that rack and I've got the little power extension on the wall there mounted. And I also have my USB hub there, which is mounted onto the wall. Basically what I wanna do is tidy all this up, get all the wires hidden and just out of the way so it's a little bit more clean. And I got these here to hopefully help with that. So these are just um, cable trunking. You can buy them on eBay is where I got these. Well, they weren't too expensive. It was like 30 pound for the set of four meters. They come on strips or lengths of a meter. So I'm hopefully gonna mount these under the desk and hide all the cables. What I wanna do is get all the cables that you can see right now. So like these cables here, I'm gonna get them all hidden as best as I can. And basically just tidy the desk up, get everything I don't need that I'm not using off the desk and get it stored somewhere. So if I need it, I know where it is. It's, I'm not looking, I'm not kind of running around mad looking for stuff at the last minute. So that's basically my plan for the office this weekend. Um, I'm hopefully gonna do that. So I'll try and post a video of me doing some cable management maybe, uh, make it into another little office vlog. But that's gonna wrap up the video guys. Let me know what you think of the audio quality as well. As I said, I am using the Zoom H1, so I'm really excited to see what it actually sounds like because I've heard a lot of good things about this mic. Um, and yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.